out and let's let's listen to him. Look, I, I think a few things. The government obviously is still in their honeymoon. Uh, the fact is that uh, Alan Tudge was a popular local member, despite some of the difficulties, obviously, uh, that have been well, you know, covered in, in the media. And as you moved around, uh, it was obvious that that was the case on the ground. I, my, my judgment of it, to be honest, at the general election, had Alan Tudge not contested that election, uh, we probably wouldn't have held the seat. I think he held uh, a personal vote that, uh, that obviously fell away. Uh, Rashina has been an incredible candidate. I'm really so proud uh, of her, of what she's done, the sacrifice she's made. Uh, but it's a tough market for us in Victoria. There's no question about that. And we've got a lot of, lot of rebuilding to do. Mr. So, Jason, the Victorian... Um, hang on, I'll, 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 come around, I'll come around this way. Yeah. Well, look, all, all the experts will have uh, that analysis, but for me, uh, we have to listen to the messages and there'll be an analysis uh, now. Uh, I think people were rightly angry locally about the road cuts. Uh, people were upset uh, just by, the, by the, the dirty campaign that Labor ran, but it's obviously been effective and we need to learn the lessons uh, around the campaign, around uh, policies, And uh, but I couldn't have asked for a better candidate for a better team on the ground. Uh, they're a very tight team, as you can see behind us, and you know, they've given a lot to their local community, but uh, tonight wasn't to be our night. Well, I, again, I, I think all of the, the experts uh, can, can draw their own analysis. Uh, I have uh, had one test for my leadership, and that has been whether we can keep the party together. We've done that over the course of the last 10 months. Uh, we've put ourselves in a strong position in that sense. Um, we have a lot to do in relation to policy. There'll be some people uh, on the right of uh, our party who are unhappy that we haven't uh, made a decision on the voice or we haven't uh, enunciated policy otherwise. Uh, there'll be those on the left uh, upset about different policies and we need to distill all of that. But uh, as I say, Victoria is a very difficult market for us. It has been since uh, probably 1998. Uh, John Howard won seats in 96 and We've really lost seats every time at a federal level uh, since uh, John Howard's ascension. And at a state level, of course, uh, uh, we've been essentially out of government uh, for the last, dec last quarter of a century, uh, which is quite remarkable. So a lot of issues uh, on the ground here in Victoria, and uh, we listen respectfully to those messages and we'll go away and, and rebuild from there. So. <laughs> Well, there's no doubt that they all feed into the result. Uh, there's never, you know, one, one issue or one matter that uh, that determines uh, an election outcome like this. There'll be a number of motivations that uh, people had to vote for us or to vote against us. Uh, but you know, tonight we congratulate uh, the Labor Party on their success. Uh, I am, as I say, very, very proud of uh, the work that Rashina has done. She's a great Liberal. I hope that uh, she can be the candidate for us at the general election, but of course that'll be an issue for her in, uh, in due course. So, I, I, I can tell you this, uh, I have been tenacious from the time I got into politics. Uh, I've won a marginal seat uh, for the last 22 years. I don't give up. Uh, and I will make sure that we build this party, particularly here in Victoria, into an election winning machine by the time of the 2025 general election. We'll do that for the sake of our country because there are many Australians who are hurting at the moment, many Australians who have been let down by Labor and the government's in its honeymoon but they've got two and a half years to govern and I believe very strongly that we will be in an election winning position by 2025. I'm very grateful for the support of my colleagues. I've got a fantastic team. Uh, nights like tonight are always difficult for all of us and for the Liberal family for our support base, uh, but the positive that we take away uh, is that we will regather and we will rededicate ourselves and double down on our determination to win the next election for the sake of our country. All right, thank you very much.